In this lecture, we give an introduction to filterations. So spectral sequences arise out of filterations, and here we will just give the definition and some examples of filterations. So filteration of a module M, this is just a family of submodules of M, such that this there's a chain like this, Mi minus 1 is contained in Mi, which is contained in Mi plus 1, and so on. And your factor modules, so factor modules are of this form, this Mi, you modulo out the immediately the previous module mi minus 1 so the factor modules these are graded modules and they are of the form this mi modulo out the previous module out of it where i is an integer so we are going to rewrite this in this form so instead of writing mi minus 1 we are going to write fi minus 1 of m so that automatically means that we are talking about of sub module of m and then you talk about fi of m, fi plus 1 of m. So instead of this, we are writing this, you know, where f would denote the filtration. And we are now saying the associated graded module is of this form, fi m over fi minus 1 m. Now such a filtration is called ascending filtration, obviously, because i minus 1 goes into i, which goes into i plus 1 and so on. So anytime you see a sequence like this, one can think of in terms of filtration. So you can think of putting a filtration like this. So let us uh, see some examples of filtrations. So the first most important example topologically is the construction of spaces via CW complexes. So the way you construct CW complexes gives you a natural filtration. You have a null set, you start with zero cells, then you take one cells and attach their boundary to zero cells. So that's how you construct X1. So X1 contains two things. It contains one cells as well as the zero cells. Then you construct X2 by attaching two cells uh, and you attach these two cells by attaching the boundary of two cells to one cells and so on. And at any such uh, filtration, this XI, if you modulo out XI minus one, what you just have is open cells and these open cells are i cells so you have open i cells so say if you do x2 over x1 that will just give you two cells and the open cells because obviously the boundary of two cell is attached to one cells so x2 by itself contains everything it contains zero cells one cells and two cells but if you modulo out x1 you just get two cells so the idea of getting such things is to you have the building blocks. So this gives you the building blocks. So step by step, what you add. So you start with zero cells. Next step, you add one cells. So when you modulo out the previous uh, module like this, you get the building blocks. So these associated graded modules are, in a sense, building blocks. So these are building blocks of everything. So these are important to see how they arise and these are precisely the constructions which will uh, lead to spectral sequences. Another example is in Galois theory, we see this normal series or we call it subnormal series where Gn is a subgroup of Gn minus 1. In fact, it is a normal subgroup. So that's why we write it like this. Gn minus 1 is a normal subgroup of Gn minus 2 all the way to G0, which is a variable G group G. So our factor groups are g i minus 1 over g i so notice now n is going into n minus 1 and then 1 is going into 0 so this is a descending filtration because you know uh, this g n is a subgroup of n minus 1 so you're decreasing so again you can put in f instead of g's and put in f n minus 1 g so instead of here you could write f n minus 1 g which contains this f n of g so this is, was also a filtration. So instead of this, you could just write, uh, so instead of x1, you write f1 of x, where x is this. So here we are assuming finite number of cells here, and this could go to infinite. So another filtration could be a multiplicative filtration on a ring R. So this is again a descending filtration. You put R as i0, and then you have a sequence of ideas like this, where product of two ideals i m times i n is contained within i m plus n so this is a standard example this you can think of multiplication in a graded ring of homogeneous polynomials so you take a degree two polynomial multiply it with a degree three polynomial both are homogeneous you land up in degree five 
and uh, again the individual graded piece you can think of like this r over i i over i square and so on so we always think of two things so first thing is you have the sequence sequence it could be ascending or it could be descending so you have a sequence and number two is you have the associated graded module so this associated graded module this is this part where you build the individual pieces these are the building blocks so now we will give some examples on uh, total filtration 